hello everyone welcome back in this video we are going to add uh, some extra column in the laravel cashier migration so which comes by default when we install the laravel cashier so i installed the laravel cashier in the previous video this is a full series where i explain that how you can create the single charge and you can also charge uh, from the user using subscription so now the time is to publish our migrations and uh, then add some new columns into this migration so i opened these migrations but uh, there are uh, no migrations of this level cashier so how we can publish this so let's go to the terminal here and uh, here i'm going to run a command php artisan vendor publish so it's mostly used to publish any of the sources so it should be a vendor i think vendor would be the o with the o and then publish okay why i'm doing this mistake here so this would be uh publish not publish and it's going to display us all of the vendor packages so it's displaying the pagination notification errors and displaying the cashier migration so what's the number so number is 12. so let's type this 12 number and hit enter and yes it says that these migrations are published and now these migrations are visible here right so i want to change this uh, into the go to this subscription table and now this uh, table is generating uh, this table so let me go here this table is generating from this migration so first discuss that why i want to change this table and then we are going to discuss about how we can update this table okay so i want to update this table for setting the duration of our subscription so by default laravel cashier set the subscription ends date in the stripe but it's not to uh, filled any of the filled any of the columns with the subscription ending date we don't have any subscription ending date so this one is our trial and state when user trial is ex uh, expired this will fill up this date so it's, it's end date so end date is responsible for when we uh, pause or uh, cancel the subscription this uh, this will be filled up but uh, how we can get the subscription time when it's going to ends up for example we uh, added this uh, we uh, started our subscription on the first march and how we can end this on the how we can check that when this user subscription will be ended so we need the uh, exact time so how we can calculate this time so we need to add an extra column and then when we are creating the subscription we want to fill this uh, column with the exact date how uh, user is creating one month subscription so we are going to calculate the one month duration and then find a date and save this date into the database so let's get started so here i'm going to after this uh, end that i'm going to add uh, another column and uh, what's the column i'm going to name this subscription subscription ends at and here i'm going to this clear and then php artisan migrate fresh so it will uh, drop all the migration and then recreate them so hope you are familiar with this one oops let me remove this uh, migrate to fresh okay and now it's going to drop all the migration and then recreate them okay so these are in the behind the scene so let's give it a refresh so hope our column will be added there so this process is completed here so let me close this terminal i don't know why my pc is slowed down it taking too much time so sorry for this one so this uh, now it's reloading and this subscription ends at column is added so it means that now we uh, successfully published our laravel cashier migration and we can change any of the column type or we can also add the multiple new columns so it's totally upon you you can also remove the existing you can also remove the existing columns but to uh, be uh, make sure that uh, you are removing the columns it's going to throw us uh, throw the error so remember that you are doing everything uh, uh, properly right so you can also uh, customize a subscription item table which is basically a pivot table 
okay so hope in the next video we are going to fill up this subscription ends at when our subscription is going to end so i will meet you in the next one bye bye